In Carrollton County, officials say five children were living in deplorable conditions in what they called a makeshift shed. Yeah, they say the father of those children is in police custody tonight. He is in jail. We are being joined now by News 2's Stetson Miller. He's live in Walterboro with more details of what police discovered when they went into this makeshift home. Stetson. Hi, Carolyn. Those uh, conditions were described as uninhabitable by Sheriff R.A. Strickland here at the Culleton County Law Enforcement Center here earlier today. And now that father is facing charges in relation to those living conditions. It was a miscellaneous trash everywhere, um, unsanitary, um, doors wide open, no heat, no electricity. They were described as, quote, beyond belief, uninhabitable living conditions at this building in the Round Oak community in Colleton County. Sheriff R.A. Strickland responded to this 12 by 12 shed like residence last Thursday after getting a call about someone getting bitten by a dog near the home. When he went inside, he saw mold, excessive leaks, mounds of trash, rotting food, and a car tire used as a bathroom. And he found out from neighbors that five children lived there. This is probably one of the rarest I've seen. This is one of the worst cases I've seen yet under living conditions. The children and the mother weren't at the building when the sheriff was investigating and have not yet been located. The father of the children, Charlie Kidwell, was arrested after he came to the residence and he's been charged with unlawful conduct toward a child. He's being held in custody on a $75,000 bond and a warrant has also been issued for the mother, Precious Kidwell. She's also facing the same charge. The sheriff says the living conditions are unacceptable. They want to make sure the children are safe. You as a parent or as um, someone that's in charge over these children, then you have an obligation to make sure they're safe and they have food and that the home that they're staying is sanitary. A uh, 144 square foot shed with, with no plumbing and no electricity, no way of providing food for the children is absolutely absurd. And there are multiple agencies involved in trying to locate those children and the mother. And we will bring you the very latest on this story as it continues to develop. Live in Walterboro tonight, Stetson Miller, count on two.